Hey all, welcome to the channel. So today we will be talking about, I am excited to talk about the newest release from Gucci, the Gucci Flora Gorgeous line. And I speak of Gucci Flora Gorgeous Magnolia. So if you're interested in my thoughts, please keep watching. So the fragrance that I am excited to talk about is this one right here and this is a Gucci Flora a gorgeous Magnolia. So if you're familiar, this is like the third one in the Gucci Flora gorgeous line. So the first one that dropped was Gucci Flora gorgeous Gardenia. <laughs> Brain fart. The next one that dropped was Juicy Gucci Flora gorgeous a Jasmine and so this is the third one added to the family and this is Gucci Flora Gorgeous Magnolia. So this is the one in the purple bottle. So I received this fragrance about two days ago and I was able to do a full wear test. So mm, I'm excited to tell you all about it. First let's talk about the packaging. It's pretty. It looks just like the other ones but it's just in a purple bottle. I love the florals here. I love love the atomizer. Check it out. This thing is fire. It's just like nice and fine and pretty. Um, so this retails for $168. You can find it at Ulta, Sephora, I think. I got mine from Ulta but you could find it at the other retailers I'm sure. Okay, so let's talk about the notes. So this fragrance opens with Magnolia Essence. I'm reading it because it's at the back right here. Um, in the middle there are dewberries and in the base there's patchouli essence. So what I get from this fragrance on first spray, and yeah, this is my scent of the day if you were wondering. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Gosh, it's so pretty. On first spray, I do get the Magnolia. And I am a really big fan of Magnolia. Not known fact, my older, my last home and my current home, they both have magnolia trees in the yard, in the, in the, yeah, in the front yard and the backyard. And my mom, she loves the smell of magnolia. So whenever she sees a magnolia that has bloomed, she makes one of us go outside, pick it and bring it inside. And this flower, you just put it in the water and it just has the most fragrant, it makes the whole entire family area smell so amazing. So that's my backstory. I love Magnolia. So it opens, when it opens, you do get that floral um, vibe. It's not heady. It's nothing like that. It's nothing indolic or heady. It's just pretty and light. Then it quickly moves into that berry. It quickly moves into that to me it smells like grape soda it smells it smells like grape fanta or you know that grape juice that welch's grape juice yeah that's the vibe i kind of get from it so it moves quickly into that so that's it's it's sweet and of course it's fruity and then you know as the fragrance dries down you do get a hint of greenness and i think that's coming from the patchouli um if you don't like patchouli you need not be afraid. This fragrance um, is not patchouli forward or patchouli heavy at all. It's just, it's light. It's ni nice and light and airy. So like I said, you get the magnolia, then it quickly moves into the fruity aspect, which I get like a grapey kind of vibe <laughs> from it. And then you, you know, you get a little bit of greenness um, from the patchouli itself. So all in all, it's a really um, light, sweet, pretty girl fragrance, really. Is it groundbreaking? Absolutely not. It's a fragrance that is going to wear closer to the skin. For me, it gave me about five and a half, six hours on the skin. Kind of like the same, per actually no, the other two I have, I get about four hours on the skin. So this one performs just a little bit better than the other two. And comparing it with the other two, the other two are more floral forward in my opinion. And this one is more fruity for forward. <laughs> Why am I trying to give myself all these tongue twisters? Yeah, this one is a fruitier take than the other two in the line. So like I said, it feels, it smells like a grape 
kind of like a, a grape soda that's that's the best way i can um describe it so it's sweet it's pretty it wears closer to the skin it gives me about it gave me about five and a half six hours on the skin i did get one compliment when i wore it i was at target checking out and the woman behind me she was like at the end of the checkout line and i was like paying and she said oh my gosh ma'am you smell so good so yeah i did get one compliment um where would i wear this fragrance hmm i would basically wear this fragrance to run errands um, you can wear this to church, you can wear this to lunch, to brunch. It's light, it's airy, it's non-offensive, it's people-pleasing. Don't let that whole magnolia thing fool you because it is not a heady white floral by any means, of the, by any stretch of the imagination. It really isn't. It's really similar to the other two in the line. But like I said, this one is just fruitier than the others. So yeah, I, I discussed longevity already. In terms of projection and sillage, like I said, it wears closer to the skin, but people will smell you. Um, if you if you um, work in like healthcare or somewhere like that, you can wear this because it's not loud. It's light and it's pretty. You're going to just smell pretty. There's um, also like this clean vibe that it's giving off. Uh, so it's like a... Um, <laughs> A soapy kind of grape soda if that makes any sense at all but yeah it's not a fragrance that that is going to be loud and announce your presence no it's not a beast it's just a light wearing fragrance just like the other two in the line now do you need this like I said before need is a strong word we need food and water but if you like the other fragrances um in this line i do think it's different enough for you to own the uh the this one because this one like i said again fruitier than the other two um than the uh gardenia and uh the jasmine so yeah that's you know those are my thoughts now which one do i prefer which is my favorite you know as of this moment, after only owning this one for like two days, as of this moment, the, the original one, the um, Gardenia is still my favorite. Although this one does not perform as well as uh, this guy right here, for now, I still prefer this one. But yeah that is the newest in the line i think it's time for them to come out with a yellow bottle come on gucci that's gonna be the next drop it's gonna be um gucci flora gorgeous hibiscus in a yellow bottle that's my prediction so yeah gucci <laughs> gucci flora gorgeous magnolia i enjoy i i am happy to have it in my collection um obviously you know <laughs> <laughs> I, I I really like these. Um, again, even when I wear this to work, when I've worn the gardenia to work, uh, I definitely have decanted that fragrance. Or I, I think I had like a, a one ounce that I would keep in my purse um, to, to refresh because it's not going to last an entire work day. When I say an entire work day, most work days are eight hours or so. It's not going to last that long. It's going to give, this one gives gave me five and a half six hours on the skin okay y'all so those are my thoughts on gucci flora gorgeous magnolia i hope this was helpful um you know maybe i don't know if there are any other reviews i haven't seen any um because this fragrance is fairly new so yeah i'm excited to have it in my collection and like I said, I hope this was a helpful review for you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And follow me on Instagram. We're going to pop it up here somewhere. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.